Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey head to the studio in New York City. On Thursday, October 10, Taylor Swift and her boyfriend Travis Kelsey were spotted leaving their Tribeca mansion to head to the recording studio in New York City. The couple reunited at Donna Kelsey's mother's 92nd birthday party on Wednesday. However, Swift and Kelsey will head to the recording studio this morning after a sweet night of reunion at their mansion. On Wednesday night, Taylor Swift attended Donna Kelsey's mother's sweet birthday party, where Swift was seen relaxing with a glass of champagne and chatting with some friends. An insider added. In the party standing in front of the birthday cake with Kelsey and Swift. Standing in the middle is Mrs. Donna A blew out the birthday candles together, but then Mrs. Donna burst into tears and hugged her two children, their family looked so touched, not only that Swift also took a towel to wipe the glasses for Mother Donna. Donna who officially turned 72 on Wednesday, she arrived in New York City on Tuesday to attend the Glamour Women of the Year Awards 2024. Donna's appearance in New York means she went to Taylor Swift's house, and of course Swift paid careful. Attention to her mother Donna, a restaurant staff also said that Swift herself booked this grand party four days ago, this party must have been scheduled in advance, it can be seen that Swift's thoughtfulness is great. She didn't want to miss this important occasion, she prepared very early, some people think. This party could also be for Travis Kelsey, since it was Travis's birthday a few days ago. Another person said it was a meaningful day, Swift looked naturally beautiful while she was engrossed in that conversation, another person said it was a sweet family, another news outlet also said that Swift's mom Andrea was also at the party, she and Donna must have had a nice meeting. Previously Swift and Dad Scott went to Arrowhead Stadium to cheer on Travis Kelsey's game. And in return Travis Kelsey was seen accompanying Swift and Dad Scott back to New York after the Chiefs vs Saints game. Kelsey boarded Swift's flight to go to NYC with the Swift family. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey haven't announced an engagement yet, but it looks like all our teen drama tropes about athletes and artists were true. According to an ET source, Taylor and Travis are doing amazing, and their loved ones see an engagement coming sooner than later. They make a great match and there's no question about that, however, that doesn't mean their family is clued into a potential engagement. Nobody knows that, Donna tells Page Six at the Glamour Women of the Year Awards. We will see what happens. You never know. This is one wedding I'll need all the details about if and when it should happen. Will Travis propose to Love Story? Will Taylor's cats be the ring bearers? This would actually be so incredible and I would love to see it. One thing I'm thinking about more than any other is Taylor Swift's wedding color palette. The alchemy singer is such an intentional and detail-oriented person that I know she'll think about every little aspect of the day, including which colors to include in the ceremony and the reception. I would love for the colors to feature gold because of how she sings about love being golden like daylight. That would be such a beautiful, full circle moment, on June 1st, during the Big Slick Celebrity Weekend's onstage comedy sketch, actor Jason Sudeikis asked Travis Kelsey about the potential engagement. Hey Travis, real talk, okay, just the guys here, Jason says. When are you going to make an honest woman out of her? Guys, Travis responds, you're really pushing it. TBH, if I had millions of people talking or asking about my relationship, I'd respond the exact same way. After Taylor Swift's era's tour concert in Warsaw on August 3, fans are wondering if an announcement is coming soon. In a viral video during the Lover set, Taylor tells the crowd she's in a fantastic mood tonight, and then visibly plays with a ring on her ring finger, naturally. TikTok's gone wild. Went that night to the concert and immediately called that out, one user comments, while another says, I think they have been since the Lake Como photos. Not only did the ET source talk about Taylor and Travis, but also their friendship with Gigi Hadid Bradley Cooper. Doubles dates are always a good idea IMO and it's fun to see these A-listers living it up with their friends. 2. Taylor, Travis, Gigi and Bradley have a blast when they get together, the source continues. They appreciate that they can all be themselves around each other and enjoy double dating and spending time with each other. Feeling inspired? 
Check out 16 perfect date night ideas, according to your Myers-Briggs personality type, Taylor Swift is in her football fashion era, showing the So High School singer in a whole new light. Since going public with her relationship with Kansas City Chiefs player Travis Kelsey, Swift has been giving loving him was read a whole new meaning by repping her boyfriend's team colors. From vintage Chiefs sweatshirts to custom-made jackets, fashion writer Sarah Chappelle. The person behind the viral Taylor Swift style blog, tells people that Swift's game day looks are something we've never seen from the singer before, the Chiefs football style is a really fun new genre of her fashion in that it's fashion that isn't centered or about her, the author tells people. While Swift has been known to drop Easter eggs in her outfits from time to time, Chappelle says she doesn't interpret her Chiefs fashion as personal Easter eggs as she doesn't believe that Swift's intended function for the looks. I try to look at it through the lens of being a joyful supporter, being in a joyful supporting role, Chappelle elaborates. I love the playbook that she's developed for her Chiefs uniform. So to speak. It's a uniform of its own, Chappelle continues, specifically pointing out Swift's vintage fashion pieces, such as her sweatshirt from clothing brand Ellie Mae Vintage and oversized 90s tee that she wore as a dress in September. It has a really great sustainability factor, and also doesn't overtly scream commercialized merchandise because she's simply just there to be excited and be in this supporting role, Chappelle says, adding that with her various game day outfits, Swift has also been supporting smaller, independent, often female-led designers. In January, Kristen Yushtik, the wife of San Francisco 49ers player Kyle Juskisk, went viral when Swift donned one of her designs, a custom puffer jacket pieced together from Kelsey jerseys. I'm so grateful for her, Yushtik told people of Swift wearing her design. I feel like she's single-handedly catapulted my career. So I'm extremely grateful for her. And just the amount of support that she gives women and small businesses. I mean, how could you not love Taylor? Most recently, Swift donned DIY glitter freckles by female-owned Fazit Beauty, which also quickly went viral online. In a video shared by her sibling, the co-founder Elliot Buttleman tearfully reacted to Swift wearing her product online. Since Taylor wore the gold stardust speckles, the response has been nothing short of incredible, Buttleman told the Daily Mail of the incredible fan response. In the last 15 hours alone, sales and website traffic have surged by 2,500%. When Swift supports Kelsey in the stands, Chappelle notes that the singer is likely very particular about what she wears as she knows the effect it will have. When she's there, she's obviously there to support, but I think she's also aware that her body in a sense acts as this billboard for brands because her style is so documented at these games," Chappelle continues. So it's nice that she takes that opportunity as a way to highlight smaller brands and often female-led brands. Chappelle also points out how Swift has been repping a lot of local Kansas City brands with her various game day looks, including a vintage 90 sweatshirt procured from retailer West Side Story. What an amazing way to spotlight the community that she's a guest in and warming up to and being in that community, Chappelle says. While Swift's clothes have taken the majority of the spotlight, every Swifty knows the devil is in the details. With each outfit, she cleverly pairs jewelry that features sweet nods to her relationship with Kelsey, including monogrammed pieces and friendship bracelets. However, Chappelle points out that Swift has always loved a monogram, including T necklaces, TS earrings, and a TS ring, a fun thing about Taylor's fashion is watching it evolve to suit the phase of life that she's in, but there are also a lot of recognizable constants in her fashion and her style. Which I think is also key to the relatability factor and the resonance factor of her visual iconography of being able to say, oh, yeah, that's a Taylor Swift look. Chappelle first started documenting Swift style with her notable blog in 2011 and since then, it has evolved into something much more, with the fashion writer amassing over 400k followers across Instagram and X. Now, 13 years after writing her first blog post, Chappelle is putting all that hard work into a book dedicated to Swift's fashion, aptly titled Taylor Swift Style, Fashion Through the Eras.